How's it going, everybody? Uh, doing a drinking and rambling vid here today. I have not done one of these in a bit. Maybe I'll throw some hand motions in as well. Um, I've got the two rum cream small bottles I'd gotten at the airport in Jamaica to bring home. I've drank a little bit of this. No, sorry. This one. Wait. This is the one. <laughs> yes. Now, they're two different brands, but I will probably throw them in here. They're cold enough, but... These are like six ounces or some shit. This stuff's pretty good. I've never had it before. It's similar to like a rum chata or something like that. An Irish Bailey's cream, I guess. It's the same, same kind of thing. 15% um, alcohol, did I say that? It's pretty good, though. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm just going to ramble about anything. Um, Daniel's been on my channel's been on a pretty good run, actually. The past maybe week. And uh, it's funny because I'm trying to like strategically put up the videos because I said I, f I filmed some videos. I'm trying to like strategically put them up because certain videos don't view well, and I don't want they'll drag down my view count, right? And I, I when I'm on a roll, I don't want that to happen because I'm afraid that I'm going to lose that momentum. I'm very paranoid about that. Um, so. And sometimes you don't know what's going to be and what isn't. Uh, like the Applebee's video did extremely well. I kind of thought that would do well. Um, the facts about me did well also. That I knew that was going to do pretty well, but I didn't know it would do as well as it did. I think it's like 3,500 views, which is really good. Almost 200 likes, so a complete success all around. Um, the, the recap, the, I, I did the drink review in the NFL recap. That one has struggled a little bit those are starting to struggle a little um you know you, you gotta um that was the thanksgiving i put that up on thanksgiving so I, at least obviously in, uh, here in the u.s that could cause an issue or where else it's not going to but anyway people just might not be bothering watching stuff they're hanging out with their family or whatever um obviously the rest of the world doesn't matter Like I said, I'm, when I'm on a roll, I want it to continue. Now, I know when I do that, like this is what I'm talking about. The PS4, PS5 unboxing will have already have been put up before this goes up. So I'm hoping it viewed well, and I think it will view well, or would have viewed well, did view well, whatever. <laughs> That's the problem with filming videos like in advance is that if I'm talking, because sometimes I will talk about previous things or something else that happened in another video, but it doesn't line up properly because the videos are not put up. One's coming after the other, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm on a pretty good run. And I appreciate everybody who's commenting, liking, new subscribers, regular subscribers, old subscribers, you know, all subscribers. You know, I, I do appreciate when it's always exciting. This goes for any content creator. You go on a little bit of a run or something. It's like it's an exciting thing. You just you start to get confidence. You just get excited, and you don't want that to go away. All of a sudden, I put up a video. This video perhaps doesn't view well. shit I don't want to lose that momentum but if you have a good video behind it and that one's still viewing well on its second day it helps um, but that's just how I am when it comes to um, you know my vids like I said I get confident and then sometimes I don't like I said I mean it's funny that every if you like make vids or you're a content creator on YouTube you probably feel and any of you who are you know, maybe you can let me know how it is for you. But for me, it's like, I'm still a little naive about things. Like, I, you're like, oh, you know, I went on that nice run. 
2022, and everybody remembers. Some of you probably came during that run. I guess I was thrown in the recommendation list. It was not a viral video. I've never had a video that's hit like 100, 200,000 views and got me that quick, big boost. Never had to have that. I think my top viewing video maybe is at 50,000. It's, it's the first collection video I think I did, full video game collection. Um... But you still, like when I had that big, the nice run where I picked up like 3,000 subs in, a, in four months, which is for me was amazing. For anybody, that's good, unless you have 200, 300,000, maybe they, it's not. But in my mind, I'm like trying to calculate. I'm like, well, I know this run's going to not last forever, but I'm like, well, hopefully it drops slower than it did, and then it, the bottom fell out after that fourth month. Um, not that I was doing bad subs after that, but like it, I went from like seven something to two something. So in my mind, I was thinking, oh, it's going to go like this. I can't, I'm still like, don't, with YouTube, don't even try to assume or guess how things are going to go, because it could end up going good or bad. It just doesn't, it doesn't happen. Sorry about that. Sometimes I'm, I'm moving my head and these, the sun is in the perfect position to where it's uh, leaving the streaks or whatever. But, um, you know, I, I, it's like you just, you still like, oh, wait, be smart and realize that sometimes it's not going to, you know, it, it, it no, it's not going to work. Or you think, oh, this is going to be how it is now. It won't be. YouTube is, it's could change every day. Islanders have been playing a little better. I think they've won, they've won two, and they won the Calgary game. And then they beat the Flyers. <clears throat> when this goes up, they might have played another two games, so I don't know. The Islanders are going to struggle. They're going to be that team. They have the, they have the goaltending. Uh, they don't have the offense, unfortunately. They sometimes will have nice little spurts, but Anders Lee is not playing well. I don't think Pago even has a goal yet. Um, Brock Nelson's doing really well. Barzil's doing well, but he doesn't have the goals. I just feel like that guy could score 30 goals easily if he wanted to, but for some reason he just doesn't chooses not to. Because um, he can create. He's their best, like, in terms of creating scoring opportunities, he's, like, their best player at that. But for some reason he doesn't. I think he's more interested in getting the pass to, to, to getting the assist setting up instead of just doing it um, himself. Or his other players are not good enough of playmakers to get him the good passes or whatever. Um, you know, uh, this will probably be up after Denver would have played the Browns, so hopefully they won that game and get over 500. Uh, Portland won a game. They lost. I don't know what's going to happen after that, but they did snap to like seven game or eight game losing streak. They have a couple guys came back. Brogdon came back. Scoot Henderson's back. Um, but I'm hoping I, I am excited about this PS5. Like I'm hoping we'll say I'm loving it. The PS5 right now. I played some Ratchet and Clank. It's great. It's awesome game. It looks amazing. That I have not played the thing yet, but I'm gonna act as though it's great. So it co it, it matches up with the makeup video and stuff. Um, I did order another game. Uh, that I might do a pickup on that because that's coming after I get the PS5. Um, Cats, uh, she loves getting up on that bed and just start. Um, but yeah, oh, that's some crud. Oh my head. I'm getting a bond uh, session. My friends are coming next. Uh, God, well, that's the second of December. Play some Bond, hang out. You know, usually we get some food or something, have some beers, play some multiplayer Bond. We don't have a fourth player, unfortunately, anymore. Back in the day, you'd always get uh, back in the day when we were playing. Like my, I think I've talked about this before. Like she's good entertainment back there. <laughs> Help those views, Hannah. <laughs> um. I think yeah, I got Bond in 97. I think I got it when it came out. I think it was like August 97 it came out. 
played the single player amazing. And then one day I was like, oh, what is this multiplayer about? And I had two controllers, so I plugged the second controller in and just kind of screwed around. The one character was just standing there. I would run around like, this is kind of cool. This could be cool. And then my friends came like, yeah, let's play this. And it, we had at least, it was me, well, I guess, yes, three can, three consistent. There was about six of us that were into it quite a bit. So we always had people that weren't into it but even people that friends that weren't into it would play from time to time of course they'd be getting destroyed because they just you know they don't they're not used to playing it but everybody be like yeah i'll play you know and stuff it was it was those that was awesome occasionally money would be thrown in <laughs> um but it was just it was a different kind of thing than online multiplayer and we'd be talking shit to each other Regular shit talking. We still do now. We play nothing. You know, we're not on freaking Xbox or PlayStation Network. Freaking saying the most disgusting, messed up things. You know, for no reason. I, uh, I should. Uh, I don't even. I want to. I want to bring. I think I mentioned it in another video how like I said something once. I was talking about Halo Reach. That was the Halo I played um, online uh, with people. But I don't. I, I was playing, this was before I had met these other people and we just started to form a party. It was people from other states and stuff. We'd hop on almost every night, like I would get home and, or whatever, like, and some of them were on the West Coast, so there were three hours um, behind. Actually, they might have been in Texas, so maybe they were two hours behind. And I think somebody was on either one of the West Coast states, I don't know which one it was. It might have been Washington. And then there's people on the East Coast as well. I think West Virginia, there's a few people from Ohio, I believe. Um, but anyway, I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> uh, this is before I met them and somebody, was, I was playing with somebody. It was, I, you know, I'm not even going to say what I said. It, was, it wasn't even like, it was more almost directed at myself, but not. It wasn't like even, I wasn't insulting the other person. I just said something messed up. And... <laughs> And they were, they were like, we're just like, oh my god! Some other random person's like, oh come on! And someone else is like, the, the other two people are being annoying, just like are in shock and, and silent, and then they start being annoying again. But uh, it wasn't like something in like offensive. It was just something that was like disturbing. <laughs> I thought it was funny. But then part of me is like, what the hell am I doing? You know, like, back when I was playing Reach, I was, when Reach came out, 2010, I was playing online in 2011, it started playing online in, uh, I think it was January of 2011, so I wouldn't, I would have been 31 at the time, so I'm still, you know, not as, there's still everybody else, a lot of people, players were younger than me, probably, um, but you're like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> I I don't I never played a lot of online stuff. Not the best with the finger flutters. I've never played a lot of online games. Like I said, Halo Reach was the one I played a ton of. That was the one I like put the most time into online. Um, you know, I'm talking like not online like a, a you know a multiplayer at home with f like a, a, the gold nine stuff like that i'm talking like you know playing online with people all over the place uh it was reach i played on the ps3 i played a good amount of i think it was the first resistance i remember they would have the death match and it, it would be up to like 60 people or 30 people it was huge i remember i won one of those maybe it was like 30 and i was like oh my god and they had another cool mode it was like i guess it, when you get hit you're the one who has to like it's almost like a tag i guess or something i forget but i, I played a good amount of that um i played a little bit if i think it was dead rising 2 had an interesting multiplayer Played a little bit of that. I don't. I th oh um, the Modern Warfare actually. I played a ton of the first on the PlayStation Three. I had a, a ton of the first Modern Warfare, and I got pretty good at that. 
And this was after, you know, I guess, you know, I, I always play the campaign first. That's my thing. I don't really get Call of Duty to play the multiplayer. I'm, I'm like, I want to play the campaign. Even with that one, I'm like, let me see what the thing is. You didn't need Xbox. Either. I think on, even on back then on Xbox, you still needed to be subscribed to live. At PlayStation, before they made you pay, you could just play online for free. So I'm like, let me give this a shot. And it was fun. It was, I played the team teams and then the, just a regular deathmatch. Um, they had some other modes as well. But I got pretty good at that. And and then I played a ton of that too, but I think I still played more Reach, but I forgot I did play a ton of that. And then Modern Warfare 2 came out, I think, oh nine, 09. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to play the single player on this first. So, you know, I'll play that. I think I got that literally like a day after it came out. So I played, the, and these are not long campaigns, so I probably beat the campaign in like three or four days. And I'm like, God, oh, time to check out some multiplayer. <laughs> I mean, I was getting destroyed. Like... What I was able to do in the first Modern Warfare was done. Like, I was useless at this point. And I think with the first Modern Warfare, I don't think everybody was jumping right into the multiplayer immediately and just ripping it up. I think a lot of people did focus on the campaign. And then in this one, no. People were getting this game just for multiplayer, playing the shit out of it. And they were awesome. And I was just getting my ass kicked. I was holding my own here and there, but overall, just getting destroyed. I was like, wow. I'm like, what the hell happened? And then I played that for a little, and then I was done. And then I didn't bother with it. I don't think... Oh, no, you know what? I played a little bit of 3 um, on the Xbox. It's 360, Call of Duty 3. There was still actually a good amount of people playing it. And this would have been after I was playing Reach. So Call of Duty 3, I think, came out in 07. So I would have been playing this in maybe like 2012... And people, there was still a good amount of people. Played a little bit of that. Um, I think it was that. Maybe it was two. Did two have multiplayer Call of Duty 2? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was one of those earlier ones. But, you know, that's just how it goes with that stuff. Uh, does that have to be sh shaken up? I don't even doesn't say it does. Maybe it does. Mm -hmm. No, it does. <laughs> um. Wow, this lo this one legitimately has a much different smell than that other bottle. Wow. So they're going to get a little mixed. Oh, it even has a different look. That's interesting. I thought this would be very similar in smell and, and look. This one is a little darker than that one was, and it smells different as well. This one actually smells a little better. Um, wow. This one's completely different. This one has a little bit of a... Um, I think that's coconut. Let me see. No, that's the government warning. Contains milk and yeah, things. I thought it was gonna have uh, an ingredient. At some, um, it might not be coconut. What? It, maybe it is a coconut taste that I'm getting. It's di much different than this one. I didn't think they'd be that much different. There you go. Well, this says, what does this say? White overproof rum. What does this say? Made with real cream. <laughs> that doesn't say anything else. Uh, I, it's, it's, I think that is coconut. It's reminding me of like a, uh, the coconut kind of shavings you get on like a... You know what it tastes like? And it is coconut, right? What are those things Keebler makes? <sighs> the little ring things. I mean, like coconut rings. I think that's what that is. Um, but yeah. So not, not, not a ton of playing online. You know, even I, after I, we kind of stopped playing Reach, I would still talk to some of those people, just, you know, whatever I was playing. And they were playing. It was, it was, it was cool. I liked it. You know, just meeting other random people, you know, in the, in, the, in the country. Not I don't think I ever played with anybody overseas or anything like that. Um, but it's similar to, like, YouTube. Like, YouTube's cool because you're, like, talking to people. Or people are watching your video all over the planet. 
and it's kind of cool you know you're like oh my goodness same thing for me too you know i'm watching people's videos all over the place and it's it's really cool she had her little session and now she's uh, lounging uh, but yeah I, I always like that you know sometimes it, it's still surreal that uh, you know i have the amount of subs that i have and then and, and so many people like my stuff it's like wow I think I've talked about, you know, when I first started doing ASMR videos, like, because it, it can be looked at as weird, right? And some of the role plays, myself included, you're just like, let's get creative and just do whatever. And it's like, you know, I've seen some people's videos where I'm like, whoa, that is out there. But it's cool. And it's just, it's it, people are just really tapping into that creative vein. Um, but I was like... <laughs> when I first was doing them, especially when I did my first role play, I think it was a bookstore role play. If you guys want to go back, go to my oldest videos, just like if you go on my channel, hit oldest and you'll find them. Um, actually speaking of that real quickly, I gotta, I gotta do that after I'm done making this video. I gotta hook up the, uh, the old hard drive from my old PC desktop and get some of my older videos from my Buried on the Clichés channel, because I said I was going to do that, and then, of course, like everything else, some of the things get done, some don't. Um, this is actually starting to affect my stomach. Um, but that was a... <laughs> I, I did that first role play, and I was like, whoa, this is weird. You do your first cranial nerve exam, and stuff, you're like, oh, my goodness, you know, I'm tapping on something. Like, this is... It, it came... Like, even myself, I'm like, whoa, this is strange, and then you just get used to it, and... <laughs> Essentially, ASMR could be anything. I mean, almost any video content person could just put up ASMR in front of anything unless it's like screeching, annoying noises, I guess. But <laughs> Because the funny thing is, when I talked about like when I first started watching videos, and I think it was like 08 on YouTube. Um, when's when's YouTube been around from 4, 06, 05? It was 08. I remember watching G.I. Joe 25th anniversary videos when they put out the figures for the G.I. Joe 25th anniversary. And I was like, this is cool. And then I found video game stuff, and I was like, whoa. People showing their collections and their pickups and stuff. And I was like, this is awesome. And, you know, I would get the ASMR just from watching people's videos if I like their voice. Like I said, I'm a huge voice person. Um, and, you know, noises as well. I do like noises. Like, people be pulling the game off of a shelf and then sliding it back in. And, and sounds like that were nice and stuff. Uh, but I kind of watch videos like I listen to music. If I like, you know, I, I, I like a part in a song, I'll like rewind the part like 50 times and just keep listening to it. But like with ASMR videos, the ones I really like, I will like, if someone's just like a, a minute or even 30 seconds worth of, I'm like, oh my God, trigger words, everything. I'm like rewinding that part like 50 times. <laughs> um, I'm always, I'm always doing that. <laughs> I have my favorites and stuff and, in my liked videos and whatnot. I don't watch a shit ton anymore as much as I used to. I think I'm too focused on making my own vids. Um, but that, that, that I don't watch a ton of people. Uh, and then, you know, there's, there's people that I watch that are, have not made a video in, in years. They're long gone, I would think, from YouTube. Um, but uh, there's something like there was a... What was her name? I think it was ASM Artiste is what it was. And I, for me, like, that was one of the best voices. And I've obviously talked about uh, ASM with Bex. She probably has my f favorite, if not one of them. I don't, you know, it might be, she might have the best voice for myself personally. That, that I would say I'm a voice person, so. But the ASM Artiste had, had a, another one where I was just like, Almost everything she said, I was like, oh my god, like every one of these words is giving me tingles. And that's the same with ASMR with Bex as well. Um, and other people, you know, where you watch their vid and you're just like, oh my gosh. I think it always kind of sucks that you like get into a channel and all of a sudden the person just goes away. You know, whatever, life gets in the way, right? Like, that's the thing. Like, I do videos all the time. You know, I'm working as well, but... 
you know, it, it, some people are like, no, they don't have the time to do it. And you don't realize that because sometimes you're looking at it through your own lens of how you do it. And you're like, why are people not just getting videos up all the time and doing everything else? No, because some people don't have time to do that. And people edit their videos. I've said this in the past. I don't edit my videos. Like, it's just me, the mic. I've, and you'll see it sometimes in my role plays in particular where I'll do, I, I'll, you'll see me, like, I'll pause. I'm like, oh, wait, because, like I said, I don't have... I don't write down any ideas or anything or anything I'm going to say. I just come up with an idea or if it's a request, I work it out in my head. I have some points I'm going to hit that I know in my head that I want to say and they'll just come in organically in the video. But and then I'm, you know, I'm just going with it. It's just coming to my head as I'm filming the video and all of a sudden another idea pops in, but sometimes I'll be like, "Uh-oh. What do I want to do here?" I pause or I say something in the vid beginning of the video and I forget it and I want to bring it up again at the end. They're like, "Oh crap." <laughs> I know you guys don't, that doesn't matter to you, but sometimes even for me, like with the cranial nerve exams or I've done eye exams, I'm like, oh, the background's got to look, it doesn't matter. You know, a lot of people are not watching it even, they're listening more, they might have their eyes closed, so it's like, the background doesn't matter, like, what am I trying, this isn't a real doctor's office, you know, like, it doesn't matter, um, but when you create videos, you're like, oh, I got it, it's got to be like this, and stuff. But like I've said this before, I am extremely pumped for when we end up, you know, in a house in whatever state it ends up being, um, to have more rooms, possibly another basement or like a crawl space area, shed, whatever it may be, to just make those kind of videos. I, I was doing a Massapequa in the basement, and I did that one. It was like there was something. I was in the shed, and I was like, "There's something outside," you know. Like that's when it's super exciting. I just don't have the ability to do that here, um, so I, I shy away from some of those other videos because I want a certain background. Like, see, in that case, like I did that detective role play. It was in the basement. Like, this is the perfect background for this. It's a dank basement. It's great, you know. I guess technically I could do a, a detective role play anyway because it could be in any room. It doesn't, you know, but this is something about the tank basement that was so great for the Fallout videos, some of the shady videos. Um, uh, but I, I, I'll definitely, and, then, and that's going to re-motivate me. I'm fairly motivated, obviously. I get a video up every day, but I have for, I think, since April. So I'm on my best streak of that. Um... But I'm excited to, to do that again, all those videos. I'll go a little bit longer on this one. I'm at almost 28 minutes. Um, I'm glad this setup's working. I mean, there's stuff where I could black out the, that window back there, but whatever. Um, and this one here, I don't care. That doesn't really affect anything. Um, but I'm glad this is working because, like I said, I got the PS5, so I'm going to not get any kind of laptop at the moment. In the new year, I'll probably get a cheaper one or something. Or I, and I, Somebody commented this as well. They had some suggestions. I looked them up. Uh, ca digital cameras like recorders or whatever. Cameras. Uh, ca Canon, Nokia, whatever. I was going to say Conan, I think. <laughs> Because um, I was thinking about that too, and then the person commented, I was like, "Yeah, you know, I should like a nice. I have the tripod, get a nice camera that's gonna realistically look better than the webcam that I'm using anyway. Hook the, I think, you know, find a way to hook the Blue Yeti into it and just go. Um, but for now, this works fine, so I'm, I'm happy about that. I think of some of the stuff I've watched lately. Oh, we watched it. Uh, my friend had come by a few days ago, and we watched uh, VHS 85. Pretty good. Um, if you've seen the VHS movies, they're kind of like just random stories. Different directors make them, but they're always in like the found footage type view or whatever. And uh, there's always like one story that happens in between each story. So they'll have the beginning, it'll be like the, apple, or the prologue, and then there'll be a, a, a story or whatever you want to call it and then they'll they'll come back to the original one from the beginning and then they'll come back and then it ties up at the end with that original one's like the over the, the overarching one or whatever and then these other ones in between um 
This one was pretty good. I want to watch Viral again. I can't remember that one. Um, I remember some of... I haven't seen 99 either. I want to... 94 was good. That was the one with Ratma. They go into the sewers and there's like a giant rat creature and there's people like worshipping it or whatever. Uh, there was also the cool one in that one where these people had this vampire like held captive and they were using his blood to make bombs and uh, eventually the vampire gets out. <laughs> um, so let's fucking shit up. But that was an interest. There are a lot of interesting kind of stories. And they usually always take like a strange uh, turn. It gets, it they usually gets weird and they're usually always disgusting in terms of gore. Um, I did watch, did I mention it? I think I might have in another video. I did watch the Poughkeepsie tapes again. It was on Tubi. I think I did mention it. Because I was talking about those horror movies and someone mentioned that. And I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that one. That's a cool one. That's like a half kind of documentary half. They're talking about the killer and they're, you know, they're interviewing FBI agents and stuff. It's cool. And then you're watching the videos that the killer filmed. And it was, it's actually, that's another one that's well done. I think I did mention that. Um, what else did I watch recently? Oh, I started watching the Scott Pilgrim show. What was it? Takes Off. I think four episodes of that, pretty good. And uh, Castlevania Nocturne, I started watching four episodes into that. That's that's pretty good as well. Um, I've forgotten about that new Castlevania. This one, I guess, is more like... It's got Richter Belmont, uh, Maria. I don't know what she was in. It, it, it takes... I mean, I guess maybe she's in Rondo of Blood. I think it's loosely... It's based on, but not fully based on, Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night. Spoilers if you haven't seen it because I already spoiled myself for it because I don't care about spoilers. <laughs> Nine, so, very rarely I care about spoilers, but uh, spoilers here if you don't want to hear this. Um, Alucard does pop up in the last episode I saw, so he's obviously the Symphony of the Night guy. Richter is in the beginning of Symphony of the Night, I think, is like a flashback when you fight Dracula, and he's in Rondo of Blood, I believe. They still haven't given Simon Belmont the treatment in these shows, oddly enough, considering uh, he was in, well, he's in one and two, he's in the first two, and then he was in Super Castlevania as well, which is just kind of a remake of the first game. Um, he was, he's Trevor's kid, right? Cypher? their kid because the first Castlevania well the Castlevania first Castlevania series that was it three seasons or four was based on Castlevania 3 and, and Castlevania Curse of Darkness which is a kind of a sequel to 3 the Xbox and PS2 game because I had the Forge Masters in there from that um, and then it had obviously Trevor and Alucard is it Cypher Belnades I don't know if I'm saying her name right the pirate guy was not in in it, the other guy you use in uh, Castlevania 3. Did I say Castlevania 3 and Curse of Darkness, or did I say Castlevania something else and mess it up? Um, I do enjoy the Castlevania games. <clears throat> I do want to do more eating videos from known places because the Applebee's one viewed well. I did the Domino's one that viewed well. I had done, early on in my channel, I had done a Taco Bell one, I believe, and um, a Burger King one is also. I did Wendy's here, I believe, and that probably did well. Um, I think I've done Dunkin' Donuts. I want to do a Dunkin' Donuts one with just the donuts themselves, the probably Munchkins. Um, I really can't be eating a lot of stuff like that. Give me a little bit of a buzz, actually, which is nice. What is this? I said 15%. Doesn't take much for me. I'm not a, much of a drinker. Um, this is probably the first time I've drank, and since I probably tried the one when we got home, two weeks maybe. A little more, actually, probably about three weeks. Um, 
So I, I, oddly enough, funny enough, I had more of a tolerance in high school. <laughs> That's when I did heavier drinking, stupidly. But here in high school, you think you uh, can do anything. <laughs> it was awesome, though, because the high school was right around the block from where I lived in the field, and a lot of people, would, we'd hang out in the field, and it was awesome. Like, it was weird. You know, I, we would go on a Friday night or something, all right, school's done. Six o'clock, we'd go down to the field, especially, like, in the winter, in the months when the sun goes down earlier. And we would just, you know, get beers or whatever. Other people would show up. But we'd go there at six o'clock. We're wasted by freaking eat. And I'm, like, literally five-minute walk from the field. I'm, like, it's, like, 11 o'clock. I'm going home. Like, it was almost like a... <laughs> in a stupid way, like a more responsible, like, you know what? I'm not going to stay out till three in the morning. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm going home. Um, I always love beer commercials though. The real quick, uh, true responsibility at the end, real fast, true responsibility. It's like, no, show the person in the gutter, show the fucking domestic violence, show the fucking car accidents. You know, what beer does to fucking people. I know, I had first hand experience. My dad was a fucking alcoholic. I see him, I saw how he acted. He's an angry drunk. <clears throat> and he has he had his regrets. Uh, you know, you fucking do that shit and you're fucked. He was running on the job and shit too. He's a custodian. Because <laughs> I remember I would sometimes go there after they'd separated my mom and my dad. And uh, my mom would drop me off to school. Uh, and then I'd go back with him to his apartment. Uh, but he'd be working till like 11. And my mom work at the overnight in the Bronx so I was like alright she would leave whenever she dropped me off maybe like 9.30 or something so I'd have like an hour or an hour and a half to hang out but schools are creepy as shit at night <laughs> cause you'll have like three custodians in there most of the shit's not lit I remember I would just walk around I'd be like oh, yeah, I go walk around sometimes I go to the gym shoot some baskets or something and <laughs> I'm like this is fucking creepy and Valley Stream North if anybody happens to know that school I don't know if it's the same now but in the uh, I went there briefly too when I stopped going to school in people I went to live with my dad and I went to Valley Stream North for a month or two until I stopped going until I stopped going there I talked about that in the mental health videos but I was like hey let's uh, I was like let's I'm on to go into the I'm saying let's as if I was with someone I'm like I'm gonna go into the, the cafeteria See, I would have been going to this school to meet him. My mom dropped me off before I actually went to school there for a little bit. And they had these cool-looking paintings, but they were creepy on the fucking walls in the cafeteria, and they were huge. I was like, this is creepy. Wow, I'm like in there. It's barely lit up. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I pulled out my cell phone and turned the flash on. I'm kidding. I didn't have a cell phone. I was 19. Uh, God, that would have been the 80s, actually. Late 80s, early 90s. And then I went there in uh, 94. For a few months. That was 94, right? 93, 94 is ninth grade. But, yeah, that was pretty, there was one that had, like, a Dracula. And it, it was kind of just, like, his castle and stuff. And there was other ones. I can't fully remember what they all looked like. But they were bizarre, creepy, strange. <laughs> like, I was like, this is interesting. They looked cool, but they bugged me out a little bit. Um, but yeah, schools are creepy, but yeah, they hit my, I mean, that was, that's what I was trying to get to as I rambled off to something else. He, uh, he would have like a case, him and the, the, the people that worked there would just have a case of beer, <laughs> like sitting in the thing, the custodian room, I'm like, look at this, You're drinking on the job. I mean, he did his job well enough, but it's just like, okay. Um, yeah, but he was this serious alcoholic and he smoked his lucky strike uh, cigarettes. Um, but like I said in other videos like they got separated and I was super upset the night it happened when the shit came down when he came home shit face but then I was like alright you're gone whatever see you later <laughs> I wasn't one of those oh no they're split up I can't no. I was like whatever dude <laughs> I don't know that says a lot about me and my lack of uh, emotions to certain things but <laughs> I was just like okay not that I didn't love him but I was like alright dude you're gone you fucked up like you know, I'm not, I, I, can, I was eight, eight years old, but I'm smart enough to know that they ain't supposed to be together. You know, this is, you know, um, 
yeah, what else? What else? I'm trying to think of something else to ramble out here at the 40 minute mark. Um, what else have I watched? I talked about those two shows, right? VHS 85. Um, I did watch A Haunting in Venice. I might have mentioned that at some point. That was good. I like that better than Death, in the, Death on the Nile. I did like that one as well, though. I have not seen Murder on the Orient Express. Um, the other one, Kenneth Branagh did that. Hercule Poirot. I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> the Agatha Christie books. <clears throat> I'm excited, though. To, uh... I know I'm going to like the PS5. I know I'm going to love Ratchet and Clank and shit, but... Uh... I also ordered uh, the cat. Yeah, she's she's hamming it up for the camera. It's a good enough shot too. The way this is lined up, if she slays on that end of the bed, she's gonna get in every shot, um, or at least part of her body will. Um, but oh, I what I was yeah, I'm getting a little buzzed here. But. I remember the only time I blacked out from booze, I was in 11th grade. I was down the block, actually, from my house at a friend's house, and uh, we had fire water. And then someone who was older than us, he would have been, I guess, 19 or 20. No, maybe he's 19. He was friends with my friend's older brother. <clears throat> and he's like, you got to be careful of fire water. You know, it tastes good, and it gets to you fast. And we were just pounding it because it was like cinnamon schnapps or whatever the hell it was. And uh, I remember we were in his room, and I fucking remember we are listening to music, and the th I remember the thing that should not be by Metallica, and then I woke up, and I was like, there was a bucket under me, and I was puking, dry heaving it. <laughs> when I came to, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> um, man, I am excited about that PS5. You know why? Because it's fresh. You know, I don't... Now I tell you, I'm finishing up Final Fantasy VII Remake. God of War, I need to finish up. I just pop those into the PS5 as well. Whatever. But I don't... It's like I'm like spinning my wheels when it comes to those systems. I'll buy a game, play a little bit, like I don't care. And I stupidly buy a bunch of fucking games, even though they're cheap, that I'm probably not going to get around to playing. So... I'm not doing that with the PS5. I have it come. I got a system that came with the game. Um, it came with Spider-Man 2. Um, I got obviously Ratchet and Clank and uh, Rift Apart and the Marvel game. What is it called? Midnight Suns. And I got Ghostwire Tokyo. So that's four. That's good enough for now. You know, um, I need to complete two of those games before I start piling on more because it's going to be the same issue I had the Xbox One and the PS4 and the Switch where I have a ton of games and it's like, okay, you know, and whatever. I'm not just dropping 60, 50, 60 dollars. I do get them. That's the thing. It's like, oh, it's 20 bucks. Better get it now because it will never get to 20 dollars again. <laughs> you know, like, um, You see, when I buy the games off of Steam, it's different. They're dirt cheap on sale. I actually want to do a Steam. I might film it the 24th of November. Because um, I, I can do it with having the laptop set up next to me, like I did with the, the NFL recap vid. I can go and set it on my phone. I can, so I can browse the Steam store while filming, you know, and that's kind of cool. So I might do it browsing the Steam sale. Steam store because they do have sales going on right now. Um, or it's, I don't know if they'll be going on when this video goes up, but they're like the 21st, 21st of November to the 27th or something like that. 28th. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything. The stuff on my wish list is on sale, so there's, there might be a game I get if it's like two and change. That's different though because they're so cheap and they're digital and they're out of the way. I mean, I've talked about I prefer physical copies, but physical copies obviously take up space I and mean, you don't have as much space. I started adding all these games that I end up not playing, and I'm like, what am I doing? I'm spending money that I shouldn't be. Not that I shouldn't be, but I'm, it's not necessary. So, um, I don't want to do that to PS5. I don't want to. See, I've got those games that I can play, and then I want to still try to get Plague Tale Requiem if it goes on sale. And then, 
that'd probably be the only other one. Maybe Returnal, because I saw the comments. Some people were saying it was really good. Uh, same thing with Plague's Tale, but I, I really liked the first one, so I was definitely going to get the second. Um, and I'll probably just wait. The Final Fantasy Remake, I think, come, the second part comes out in February, the end of February. So I'll probably wait for that. And then I will uh, go from there. I don't want to just pile them up, you know. see the uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra at UBS Arena in December. That should be fun. I didn't realize Al Petrelli's in them. I don't know much about them. I know a few of the songs. I know the Christmas type stuff. Uh, I was like, oh, Al Petrelli was on World Needs a Hero by Megadeth. <laughs> um, and then I talk about that in April. I'm going to see uh, my friends at uh, Foxwoods. It's a perfect circle, Pussifer and Primus. So that should be really cool. <clears throat> this end up being drinking. It's going to be called drinking and long ramble. Um. There's the pudge, Hannah Pudge. Sleeping it up. Um. Anything else? Probably have to pee in a minute or two anyway, but. I got a video, it probably would have already went up, but I was able to film it this way. Um, it was the, the comic book show and tell. I was able to film it with the top down, it worked fine. I can So I know I can do word searches on this thing here. Um, Role plays I still have to try. It's going to be tough to set some of them up, I think, with this view. Uh, but I do want to do some soon. That's the thing with my channel. I, 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 in reality, I should never take requests because I know I'm not going to end up doing a bunch of them. I'm going to obviously do enough as well. I've done over a, well over 100. Uh, but, you know, I, I feel bad because I'm always like, oh, yeah, I might be able to do that. And then I don't. And I'm like, ah, shit, I feel bad about it. And that goes for my own videos. I've talked about this. Like, I have ideas for videos I never make them. I still haven't done the third part of that freaking... Uh, uh, the, the, we're stuck in the house thing, and that was cool. But now with the laptop not working, I'd have to try to figure that out with how I want to do it. Because I had something interesting to have to do where you would see something. Why am I spoiling it? <laughs> uh, so I don't know how that would work. Do 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 I can't believe it's already three o'clock. to get to Florida. We're going New Year's Eve. It's going to be fun. Uh, see my mom and aunt, hang out, go to Bach Tower Gardens again, go to Cherry Pocket four times. <laughs> it's funny, that place, it's like a, like a, almost like a hole in the wall type place. It's kind of not way off, uh, you know, where it is. It's on a lake. <laughs> it's nice though. It's like my kind of vibe, but it's not like really near anything. It's by house and stuff. But it's not like in any kind of commercial type area. And it's like the world famous cherry pocket. And you go and it's awesome. The first time we went, we're like, holy shit. We sit outside. The gators come swimming up. Um, and uh, it, I'm world famous. And it really is because you'll hear I've people from all over the place are going there. Like I'm hearing people. I'm hearing different accents from the U.S. I've heard 
English accents there. Like I'm here and I'm like, well, I guess a lot of people know this. Um, but yeah, we'll get there a few times. Maybe we'll see a movie down there. I do like that part of Florida, Central Florida. I do like it. Uh, it's literally almost the middle of the state, Lake Wales. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to turn this off here. Uh, maybe I'll try to finish this or take another sip. Um, yeah. So, I don't even know what to talk about. So maybe I should just stop this. Pretty decent ramble. Went long, 50 minutes. Good stuff. I remember saying I wanted to do more hour-long rambles. God, when was that? Like over a year ago. I think I did a few and that was it. I, I need to not say because I just, it's like, this is what's going up today. This is what's going up today. Like there's no schedule. I, I remember I attempted it. I talked about it. It's like, no, it's not going to happen because I, I'm not good with that. But anyway, that is, uh, drinking some rum cream, Jamaican rum cream, and a rambling, long ramble, it was a long ramble, so that's always good, but, uh, if you get this far in the video, 50 plus minutes, thanks for staying the whole thing, if you didn't stay the whole thing, you're not gonna see this, but I don't blame you. <laughs> But uh, it's hard to sit through, if it, you know. It is, you know. I'm pretty good when I watch videos. Like, if it's a 30, 40 minute video, I typically watch the whole thing. Like, I'm usually interested in the whole thing. Sometimes, you know, of course, because, you know, it's, it's a long video. You gotta commit some time to it. But anyway, uh, thanks for checking this out, and have a good day.